Hey, welcome to the channel. It's Jack with Stronghold Strength and Conditioning. And today, I'm gonna show you how to clean up your cleans so that you don't bang up your forearms when you're using those kettlebells. But before we get into it, make sure you take a moment and hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss out on future content like this. Every Saturday, I'm putting out videos showing you how to resolve aches and pains, prevent injuries, and overall optimize your performance inside the gym and outside of it in your daily life and routine. And it doesn't get better than that. Ready? Let's go ahead and dive into this one. All right, like I said, today we're gonna to be talking about one of the most common complaints that I've always received when using kettlebells, especially when during a clean or a snatch type movement. So this is a progression that you could use First of all, cleaning up your clean, like I said, but then also using a similar technique to clean up your snatch eventually when you get there. So if you're new to kettlebells, the clean is a great place to start because it's going to build the technique that we need to have in order to make sure that we're not hurting ourselves with that kettlebell banging on the forearms when we're performing the clean and then we again can progress that up to a kettlebell snatch which is a little bit more technical and takes it another step further but today we're going to be focusing in on the clean because of that foundational piece to it so we want to make sure that we establish that solid foundation in the technique so that you're not banging up your forearms when you're doing the clean ready let's go ahead and take a look at it let's start by understanding our problem very well so first of all the clean is a movement where the kettlebell is coming up to this front rack position okay where we're holding it with the arm bent elbow toward the rib shoulder packed and then a nice neutral wrist the common problem that most people have is that they feel the bell bang their wrist when it comes over top and the whole problem there is that the technique is completely wrong in the first place. When we swing that bell, it's not that the bell is coming up over top into the forearm, okay? It is a technical error. And that's what we need to really solve is the fact that we don't want that bell coming looping over the top and then smacking down on the wrist and the back of the forearm there as that move finishes. So what should the move actually be is the real question here. And what we wanna do is actually use rotation to make the clean a smoother movement. So as we are cleaning that kettlebell, instead of flipping over the top, as we pull here, there's a rotational piece where we want to sneak under the bell with our wrist neutral, punch into this locked in position. And again, I'll do it in slow motion. So if I just take the bell from the floor, you can see me rotate the bell around my forearm rather than over the top. So the movement is rotational versus linear in that. And it happens very quickly where when you're very refined and practiced at it, it's not gonna have this impact on the forearm. It's gonna rotate smoothly into this outside pocket where it's going to sit in that front rack. So that is the important piece that most people are missing when the bell is banging them on the forearm. It's that they don't know how to rotate around that bell. So, one of the easy ways you could practice this is an assisted pull. What you wanna do is have your normal grip on the side that you're practicing, and then you're having a reverse grip. So you can assist the bell in that rotated position to the outside of the forearm. In more of a swing. Again. Again. 
and you can see that I turn the bell over with that free hand, okay? And as soon as I get it rotated, I let go and I land it in my front rack position. Neutral wrist, okay? Elbow packed to the ribs, shoulder packed on the upper back, and a plank from my core here. Tight butt, tight stomach, shoulder blades down and back. Again, that practice drill, regular grip, reverse grip, swing, help it rotate, lock in that top position. Rotate it back down. And you can start to do it a little bit more freely as you get more comfortable. And you'll notice a lot less impact as I get cleaner with it. Okay, so there's not a lot of impact if I'm smoother with that movement overall, with that rotation. So it's all in the technique of rotating that bell around the forearm and making sure that I have a smooth rotation, keeping the bell close to that rotation as I pull, okay? So it's rotate, rotate, and that's it. All right, there you have it. The problem and a relatively simple solution to help you clean up your cleans so that you're no longer banging up those forearms. If you like this video, make sure you let me know by clicking that big thumbs up down below and take a moment to share this one with a friend who's been dabbling in those kettlebells as well, but still learning the process and might be complaining about sore forearms as well. If you're somebody who struggles with training aches or previous injuries or general stiffness where your mobility is limited and you're noticing it and it's affecting you on a daily basis, what I want you to do right now is drop down below in the description and fill out the coaching application so that we can get you moving in the right direction. We'll start a conversation and make sure that you are headed the right way with your mobility to pain free and moving better in 12 weeks or less. Down in the description, go ahead and fill that out. Last but not least, if you have not already, take a moment and hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss out on future content like this. Every Saturday, I'm putting out videos showing you how to resolve aches and pains, prevent injuries, and overall optimize your performance inside the gym and outside of it in your daily life and routine. It does not get better than that. Welcome to the Stronghold Army. See you next week.